everybody, it's Sabrina Campbell, a personal trainer with Boutique Fitness. Today we're going to go over some stretches to help alleviate knee pain. We're going to hold each one for a short amount of time, but when you're doing this at home, please hold it for about 30 seconds to get the full effect. I'm just going to go through it so that you can see each one individually. So first one, start right here. We're going to pull that heel up by the glute. Quad stretch, you're going to press your hips forward so you can really feel in deep into it. And the higher you get that heel, the more you get a stretch out of it. If you can't get it up super high, that's all right. This is a process we're working to get more flexible in the knee, in the leg, everywhere throughout it. Next one, you're going to come down. Split position, you're going to tuck the hips forward, tilting that pelvis so you get that stretch, and then sit down into the stretch. So the more you pop that heel, the more you tuck that pelvis, the more you're going to feel a stretch into that hip flexor. This should feel really good. Once again, hold it for 30 seconds. Breathe. Let yourself get the full effect of that stretch. Next one, you're going to pop that foot forward. Straight leg is the one that we are stretching, and you're going to bend to the standing leg. Letting yourself lean forward to grab those toes to get a nice stretch through that hamstring right there. If you can't grab your toes, Grab a calf, or you can come up a little bit higher. Wherever you start to feel the stretch, it should never feel painful. You just want to feel nice and engaged right there. Coming forward right there, if you can reach all the way down, you get a nice deep stretch. Remember to breathe. If you want to get this into the calf, bend that knee slightly. You'll feel a little bit more into the calf rather than the hamstring. To get a real nice deep calf stretch, if you feel like that wasn't giving it enough for you, you're going to come into a down dog. Press your chest towards the top of those thighs. The right heel is going to stay down. You're going to wrap the left foot over that right ankle. Drop the left hip. Pressing right there. If your heel doesn't touch the ground, that's all right. You can progress into it. Pressing your chest towards the top of those thighs gets deeper. If you want to feel a little bit more into the soleus, bend that knee. It's a different part of the calf that you can work on, yes? All right. Go ahead and do that after a workout or, you know, when you have some time in the morning before you go to bed. should feel really good and it will really help those knees stay healthy. Thank you very much. See you next time.